guys, welcome to Time Out with me, Ronnie Taylor. I'm gonna start off your weekend recap with two words. He's back. After taking 18 months off to rehab his knee, Derrick Rose returned to the court in the Bulls preseason opener. We've all been waiting to see what he was going to look like coming off those ligament tears, and you know what? He looked as explosive as ever, and there's a rumor that he's gained five inches on his vertical jump. So watch out, LeBron, there may be a stampede coming your way. Now, on to the baseball postseason. <sighs> Bring back the steroids and maybe it'll be a little more fun to watch, like when big Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa were cranking out home runs every other at bat. Until then, thank God football season is here and basketball is near. Speaking of football, we had some really good college games this weekend. Ohio State barely squeaked out a win over Big Ten rival Northwestern. The Wildcats were this close to ending the Buckeyes' incredible win streak of 18 straight games. The Georgia Bulldogs managed to squeak one out against SEC rival Tennessee in an overtime thriller. And Stanford barely pulled out a win over conference foe Washington. And although it wasn't a good matchup, I have to shout out my Oregon Ducks for crushing the Colorado Buffaloes. I'll save the quack quack for when they beat a team worth playing. Now, on to week five of the NFL season. This weekend was good to Las Vegas casinos, not so much for sports bettors. The Patriots fell to the Bengals, the Colts defeated the Seahawks, the Chiefs are still undefeated, and the Broncos won but didn't cover the spread. But on the bright side for me, my Niners crushed the Texans by 31 points, and Eli is still bummed since his team still hasn't won a game. Other teams getting big wins were the Saints over the Bears, the Packers defeating the Lions, and the Raiders pouncing on the Chargers. That's all I have for you from this weekend, and if I didn't mention your team, please tell them to do something interesting so they might make the show. Be sure to subscribe to my channel above so you can get more of yours truly right when my new videos are released. Thanks for watching this week's Time Out with me, Ronnie Taylor. Now go share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. I'm gonna start off your weekend recap with two words. He's back. After taking 18 months, who's running the, the teleprompter? <laughs> That's all I have for you from this weekend. And if I didn't mention your teams, sorry. Now go share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Stop the creepy face. <laughs> <laughs>